This morning, tragedy continues to hit some of the most innocent in our community. A seven year old girl, one of the latest victims of gun violence in the city. This happened on Jackson Street in Northeast Atlanta. That's where we find 11 Alive's Karis Belger this morning. Karis, we're hearing this all happened at a family gathering. Yes, that's what police tell us, and it all happened here at the Camden Vantage ap Apartments. It happened late last night. Police say that they are currently trying to piece together what exactly happened, but most importantly, track down who is responsible. So here's a quick breakdown of what they've told us so far. According to police, they got a call just before 10 15 last night. They say at some point there was a party happening in an apartment in this complex. At some point, people started fighting, guns were pulled out, and people started shooting. One of the people hit was, as you mentioned, a seven year old girl. According to police, she was in one of the rooms in the apartment. Police say at a certain point, some people left the complex. So they've been um, they were here earlier this morning trying to find clues piece together what exactly happened. But right now no one is in custody. They are trying to see who may have been involved. They're also asking anyone who was at the complex last night to come forward and contact them with any possible information. But right now this investigation is still very active and still ongoing. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Crime Stoppers. All right, Karis, thank you for the update. This young girl's death comes just hours before a man is set to be sentenced in a separate shooting where another child lost her life to gun violence. Daquan Reed is scheduled to be sentenced tomorrow. Earlier this month, the Fulton County jury found him guilty on all eight felony charges in the 2020 shooting death of Kennedy Maxey. She was riding in a car with her family when Reed fired a gun several times. One of those bullets hit young Kennedy Maxey in the head.